Please stand. The blood of the holy martyrs was poured out for Christ upon the earth. Therefore, they have gained everlasting rewards. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess. To Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs St. Andrew Kim Tigon and his companions a most fruitful seed of Christians. Grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am writing you, although I hope to visit you soon, but if I should be delayed, you should know how to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of truth. Undeniably great is the mystery of devotion, who was manifested in the flesh vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed to the Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, and taken up in glory. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, How great are the works of the Lord. <clears throat> I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart, in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. How great are the works of the Lord. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. How, How great, great are the works of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine, and you said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Today we celebrate the Korean martyrs. Between 1840 and 1870, there were 103 Korean martyrs who, just like John the Baptist and Jesus, gave up their life out of love for others, gave up their life for the faith. The Korean church is growing, and actually the next World Youth Day is going to be in Korea. So uh, I graduated with several seminarians from Korean diocese, and it's a really thriving church. But their history and the way they were evangelized is very unique in church history. Evangelization was difficult because Korea refused all contact with the outside world, except for taking taxes to Beijing annually. On one of these occasions in 1777, Christian literature obtained from the Jesuits in China led educated Korean Christians to study the faith. These educated Korean Koreans became Christians, I should say, and they brought the faith back to Korea with the help of no clergy, with the help of no missionaries, The Korean church evangelized themselves, truly unique in church history. When a Chinese priest finally managed to enter Korea secretly a dozen years later, he found 4,000 Catholics already there, none of whom who who had ever seen a priest. Truly amazing. Seven years later, there were close to 10,000 Catholics in Korea. Religious freedom only came to Korea in 1883. But from 1777 to 1883, Christians suffered great persecution in Korea. The first native Korean priest who we celebrate today, St. Andrew Kim Taigen, was the son of Christian converts. Following his baptism at age 15, Andrew traveled 1,300 miles to the seminary in China. After six years, he managed to return back home as a priest. Back home again, he was assigned to arrange for more missionaries to enter the country and to elude the border patrol. He was arrested, tortured, and finally beheaded at the Han River near near Seoul. Paul Chong Hasong, who we also celebrate today, was a seminarian preparing for the priesthood, and he was also beheaded for the faith in 1839 at age 45. Among the other martyrs was Columba Kim, an unmarried woman of 26. She, along with her sister, was put into prison, pierced with hot tools, and seared with burning coals. She and her sister were later beheaded. Another boy of 13, Peter Rue, was killed by strangulation. Another 41-year-old nobleman, Protes Chong, apostatized under torture and was freed. But later he came back, confessed his faith, and was tortured to death. Besides Andrew and Paul, who we celebrate today, Pope Pope John Paul II canonized 98 Koreans and three French missionaries when he visited Korea in 1984. Among them were bishops and priests, but for the most part, they were laypersons, 47 women and 45 men. All these men and women are martyrs. All of them are saints. 
all of them persevered under great persecution. Why? Because of their love for Jesus. Because of their love for Jesus. The blood of these martyrs has been the seed for the Korean church, a church that is flourishing, a church that is growing, and a church that is bearing fruit. Saints Andrew Kim, Paul Chong Hasong, and companions, pray for us. Let us stand and lift up our prayers and petitions to the Father who always hears us. For all who serve the church, may the Holy Spirit guide them in wisdom and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations and people of the world, may the Lord inspire in all hearts a greater respect for life from conception conception to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who mourn, may they be comforted by the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith, may God guide us in discernment and in ways to best serve those around us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in Christ, May they also one day rise with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Brian Kelphy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those Christians in Korea, the Korean church, and all of those Christians in East Asia, we pray for uh, increase of uh, fruit from there and that they might bear witness to the faith for us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, we give you thanks for the example of the Korean martyrs. Through their example, may we be bold in sharing our faith and grant all of these petitions according to your mercy through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his resurrection and death, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Let
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant, as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Amen.